Good morning. Yes, this is of course Dr. Jimmy, and once again we are here to decrypt one of the cryptic comets. Yes, today we'll be decrypting the cryptic comet Flashback. Yes, Flashback turns out to be all about the new house Afterlife Death's Vengeance, which was revealed last night at midnight. <laughs> Yes, the house deals with a purely original house. It deals with an evil, sinister serial killer named Bob the Cat. No, that's not quite right. <laughs> uh, Bobby the Blade. Galato. Not Gatto, Galato. <laughs> Bob Gatto is Bobby the Claw Gatto. That's, that's right here, the cat. Uh, Bobby the Blade, Galato, notorious serial killer back in the 1930s, I believe, in Cary, Ohio. Convicted for his crimes, executed in old Sparky, the electric chair, and then has to face his real punishment in the afterlife. Ooh, in the afterlife, you're in for some serious strife. Yes, exactly. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, he... To those who he had wrongfully murdered and now torment him along with evil demons. What a fun house. And also, my friends, let's see, I should have one of these here somewhere. I usually have them around. Also, damn it. Let's see. <laughs> I can't believe it. I thought I had right here. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we are. Also, <laughs> in 3D, <laughs> these aren't the right sort of glasses, but still. Uh, <clears throat> I knew I had them there somewhere. Hello, Gato. There's my little kitty. <laughs> For a minute, she was taking over the video. Uh, silly thing. All right. <laughs> now, as I was saying, uh, fun sounds like a lot of fun and from what I understand much darker than, than any 3D house in the past. Interestingly enough when we first began to hear about this house uh, we thought it might be a black and white house rather than the color 3D black and white sort of dead exposure strobe light house. Uh, turned out to actually be more of a 3D house but everything else was the same that we had heard about. Yes. So, now it's time. Why flashback, though? Well, again, I thought flash, you know, the, the strobe lights. But still, it had to do with going back to visit his own crimes at the time of execution. He flashes back to his, uh, to his crimes and is punished for them. That's flashback. We might have considered aftershock as a... <laughs> uh, but that would have been silly. Uh, anyway, and too close to the real title, of course. Uh, now let's see. Uh, Shot Cookie Awards. Yes. Well, first of all, this was kind of strange because a number of people came up. It took a while for people to quite figure out what flashback meant. Uh, I was going to give a shot cookie to Dana Isom because she had, was the first to come up with, with black and white with strobe lights. Trouble is, that's not what the house is going to be, even though at the time we thought so. Sorry, <laughs> no cookie for you this time. You've already got one before from Kevin. Uh, Peter Mangiafreno, however, was the one who first guessed the prison-based house for flashback. Uh, Heather Quackenbush was the first one to say, uh, life flashes before the eyes at the time of death. But the one who really gets the best cookie is Mark Nismo Newsom, who said life flashed before the eyes at a time of electrocution. So, <clears throat> so we're going to let Peter, Heather and Mark, uh, is it Mark or Mike? I think it's Mark. We'll let Peter, Heather and Mark, we'll let them, we'll let them share, uh, or each get one separate sharp cookie. Uh, I have to point something out, of course. Bob Galato, yes, Robert the, the Blade Galato. Galato sounds like an Italian name, and of course this is very loosely based on the execution of the assassin Zangara in Florida many years ago. They moved the location to, 
to Ohio and they've changed it to a, an, a serial killer rather than a political assassin, but at the same time he's still Italian, Galato. But if you take that name and read it as if it were Spanish, you get Galletto. Oh no, is that right? How you say it? Gallet. And uh, Galletto? No, Galletto. Which, of course, in Espanol means cookie. <laughs> the blade. So we have uh, the blade, and his name is Cookie. So, is it appropriate that we're giving out sharp cookies? It's almost like it was planned this way. <laughs> well, claps for all of you. And uh, have a good time. Tomorrow we'll be uh, decrypting, oh, I don't know, Simon. <laughs>